My electrical has shut off again. Last night, all of my electrical shut off again. No, nope. dang it. She has to be carried away. <laughs> Do you love the camera? <laughs> Good morning. It is like six, I think. Maybe I can turn a light on. Oh, look at that. It's 6 a.m. and I'm leaving Arizona. I spent the last few days with a friend, which was super nice, and we were able to use these like pickleball and basketball courts that are at this RV park kind of thing. Basically, I'm dry camping in like a big parking lot with him. But I'm heading out now to go actually meet up with another friend. And then I'm meeting up with more friends. This is, this is gonna just end up being another social month, I think. <sighs> Guess what? I was really excited to start this vlog with my coffee footage, but it was gonna be totally different this time because I have ice cubes from my freezer. My electrical has shut off again. So, um, I, yeah, went to turn on my lights this morning and I have no power. This is the second time that that's happened and it, I don't think it's because of my freezer. Because the first time this happened, I didn't have my freezer yet. So, I quite honestly am just not dealing with it right now. I'm just going to not have power. <laughs> for a while. I'll be right back, okay? I kind of have a thing for early mornings and gas station coffee. It brings me back to the days where I would drive across country in my beat up little Camry and sleep at rest stops and start driving at like 4 a.m. Well, I just pulled in here at this really beautiful spot and I'm here with my friend Sarah. I don't know where she is right now. I think she's over with the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> she's... She just had a huge thing of poop in her head. Akilah did? No oh. I thought it was a stick. <laughs> Wait, is it human poop? That's human. There's only humans would poop there in the wash. Sarah's running to go get a shovel and we're gonna bury other people's poop because the dogs are eating it. This is why you bury your poop, everyone. <laughs> that, I need a bigger hole. On that is. This is a lot of poop. Akila, no, go. <laughs> Gross. Leave it, Rain. Good girl. What great vlogging content. <laughs> <laughs> Get away. Get away. Ah, I touched my own. <laughs> <laughs> Huge poop. <Stop. laughs> there. Just... Oh, that's that's good. Yeah. Teamwork. Gross. <laughs> I would high five you, but you, um. Yeah, I need to uh, go wash myself <laughs> really well. This is Sarah's home. <laughs> Super cute. She Welcome. built this. It's a little messy. <laughs> with her mom. So Sarah and I met at Schooly Palooza. That's kind of where we connected. And then I recently just left Arizona, so we decided to spend a few days together here. We're just going to enjoy the space. I'm gonna get some work done, and we'll just be enjoying the sun and the fresh air in this really beautiful open desert. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep 
every night and what you're dreaming of. I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Well, today has been a very long work day. I've been having a lot of those lately. <laughs> While my computer does some work exporting and uploading, I am just going to top off the work day with a little bit of van work. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with my electrical, and then I'm gonna try to fix my heater. <laughs> Last night, all of my electrical shut off again. So that first day that I told you about the electrical, which was yesterday or the day before, um, once the sun came back, everything came back on. And then the same thing happened last night. Basically, an uh, hour after the sun went down, everything shut off. So I think my batteries are just really low, but none of my systems are actually showing me that. Basically, I woke up this morning and my charge controller had an uh, error code on it. And I just waited throughout the day. And now it kind of fixed itself and it's showing pretty normal things. And I say pretty normal because it's showing that the solar panels are charging the batteries and the state of charge on the batteries, but it is not showing that I actually have a load. But I do, because the lights are on right now, my fridge is on. So when I look at my phone as well, it shows that my batteries are at 100%, which I really don't believe that they are. So there's something that's not communicating correctly or showing up correctly, I don't know. I'm very tired right now. Akila has also been so tired today because her and Rain played for hours yesterday and both of them have just been like pooped, which is actually really nice. Long work day for me, a long nap day for Akila. Those two things are great together. So since my solar is kind of doing okay, I am going to see if I can fix my heater. And the reason that this is important is because I am going up to Cedar City, which is much higher elevation. They might have snow right now. Uh, and so it'd be really nice to have some heat. So my heater is showing me error code four, which is very familiar to me. <laughs> I think it just needs a better connection within the, the fuel pump. Let's see what happens here. Come on. No, dang it. I just took some time to disconnect the pump connection play with that prong that has been giving me trouble for the last year, reconnected it. This is my last, this is my last try. And then I'm going to just install a new heater, probably, because this has been such a, such a headache. So I hope this works. Oh. Oh my, it's working. No way, Linnea, good job. So I'm just gonna force shut it off because um, I don't want it to take up my limited solar. Oh, yes. That was very simple and still like slightly stressful because you never really know. Woo wee. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little show off. <laughs> Do you love the camera? 
are you noisy because Akila has your bone? <laughs> Sarah's in here cooking up some coconut curry. Beginnings. Sarah and I, this is really close to my face. <laughs> Sarah and I decided to get a really early start. So we are going to hit the road and hopefully catch a really beautiful sunrise with some coffee. But I gotta clean up my stuff first before I go. <gasps> Akila's not thrilled. Good morning. <laughs> I bet rain is outside. <laughs> okay, kids, load up. <laughs> All right, Akila, you ready? The girls were very excited to see each other this morning, and now <laughs> it's been tough to get them separated. She has to be carried away. <laughs> Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow my golden Great. I know, are you girls so excited? Oh, big old arm. Well, 
I just gave Sarah a big hug goodbye. It was so fun spending time with her and I wish I had more time to just be in this beautiful land at the perfect time of year. But Sam and Dan are in Cedar City and I am so very excited to go see them. So I am hitting the road right now. I have a few hours of driving to do north into much colder weather but it will be so worth it to spend some time with them. So I am going to treat myself to this ice cream sandwich that I got. I'm going to hit the road, and Akilah and I will see you next week. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun.